I'm recording. And this is about talk about yourself actually. See myself uh, coming from first generation educated family and uh, got interested on rural women's issue just because of one reason they are neglected a lot. They are neglected both by the community, they are neglected by their own men, they are neglected by the state, they are also neglected by the, I don't know, NGOs or movements. So that's one, re one reason I was only interested on grassroots women's issues, where Dalit, Adivasi women are there. And I'm also uh, got interested because more than a personal life, their structural violence is more on them. Because if I see the uh, any development project as a dam or a SCZ or a, you know or a, you know any big company construction or a pollutant uh, thing, women is the first target. Women loses the survival, and women start doing struggle, and there is a more violence. Even today, after coming into the Karimnagar, working on this granite uh, quarrying and the mining issue, I mean, my heart goes that how does, you know, how these women will survive once she comes out. I mean, the so-called Brahmanical values kept women inside. I think they did a good job. I mean, at least they are keeping their women away from the violence. And we women, we cannot keep ourselves at home because our survival is linked with the you know, environment. So I see, I see that once we come out, there's violence from all corners, in and out. And uh, sometimes it results in rape, sometimes it results in violence, it's killing also. Like you have seen a couple of activists who were killed. And uh, SEZs in Kolapalli, when I was working, one self woman committed suicide. She is a proud, bold uh, farmer, women farmer. I always, you know, used to feel proud seeing her. Single handed, she is a single woman. I mean, I don't know about her personal relationship, but she, she is a single woman. But she committed suicide because her son uh, ill treated her after losing her land. I mean, they were happy family when she has land and uh, she's feeding them well. But suddenly, son started ill treating her and she took poison. I mean, that I was repeatedly looking at how the outside violence has triggered to the domestic violence. And, and she committed suicide. So, domestic violence for Dalit women is not a four wall issue ever. It is always structured outside violence, which is like even a Dalit man is not having proper, you know, work and also proper support system and also you want to pour out your all oppression and you come back home and you, you see your woman there. Then you beat her or you abuse her and uh, I mean, if she responds, I mean, if she returns and give it back, it is again projected as uh, they both are equal. They both are equal. They they fight well and they talk well and they you know work well. All that happens. So it is the uh, the perception how we are uh, looking at Dalit women issue. Uh, so it is not that happy fighting. It is always the you know in response to the violence how one treats. So many people are not willing to accept that there's many say fancy things that no violence in Dalit families. There is a patriarchal dominance and there is a structural violence and there is this the Brahminical ideology is always compared with. See that woman is good, uh, beautiful, skin, your color, your behavior, your attitude, your cooking style, everything is been compared every time and your intelligence levels have never been you know, taken into consideration because that woman is always better in, in studies and this and that attitude I think killing women and much more by the Dalit men, the community men. I don't know how it has come but when we were uneducated 
this thing is not your age i think the more you are going into the universities you are more uh, instead of learning more uh, you are becoming more brahmanized or more hinduized or more uh, more looking you are women to be like other other so i see i also felt the same thing in my life that uh, i have lots of expectations from our own men <coughs> but i have very terribly bad experiences that uh, if i choose to work outside that is been question that why we have to work and the freedom of choice in the work and if i choose uh, i mean uh, this very middle class traditional families they don't they want a very good house and husband and the protection as they like everybody that even the little family they think that my girl is to be in a protected family and myself uh, i have to choose i have to choose between the work or uh, choices and the right it is not that negotiation thing is never happened so i have chosen the other side the work uh, because uh, otherwise you are expected to be a very you know hindu woman at home and cook and feed and to take care of the house and but after choosing this area i, I have realized that it is a very difficult journey because uh, when you are going and entering either in the mining or in the fcz or any environmental movement you are targeted by the upper caste you know elite corporate market politician mafia so the earlier choice was better because it is only family <laughs> but <laughs> this is where and it is not that you are always charged like uh, you are a corrupt and uh, you have characteristics I mean, because once dalit women most of the dalit women don't come out because or any women don't come out of the social uh, sector because you are named and blamed or whatever i um, mean targeted by the community so but now i think i'm done with uh, i mean experience teach a few <laughs> so so it is not an easy job to come and work but my intention is that dalit women back home and adivasi women you know on the grassroots are desperately looking for the support system and they are desperately looking for a dalit man and adivasi man at least to understand them so if you see the dalit movement you don't see the dalit women in the leadership position if you see the telangana movement you don't see the women and forget about dalit women and if you see the one interesting thing after the 70s 80s all the political parties started floating a women's wing and then strategically they are maintaining the social order i mean do order i mean whenever the gas prices are high they come out whenever the vegetable prices are high they come out only two three issues they never talk about question about all these violences how many politicians women politicians in haryana have come out i'm not saying uh even that the response from the women's commissioner is also very bad uh, she is uh, giving i don't know it is uh, it's happening everywhere it's happening everywhere is a very good answer why it's happening everywhere we have to answer why it's happening only on dalit women it's it's the question i completely give uh, say that it shame on this democracy and uh, now we, anyway we have been asking is it democracy for dalit community or a dalit women or a adivasi and minority no now in india we are living in in myth we are living in hypocritic world that we the brothers and sisters and we the all the equals and all this are funny to me and uh, i always feel myself as one among those 80% who are working on the field survival of course even we are in the university it is a survival only it is not uh, like renka choudhary you have a sonia gandhi you have and somebody's family property positions you have been given no it is uh, but working outside is much much more challenging risky and uh, it also it is like walking on the road you have to always balance
and check out yourself first whether I'm doing right or wrong, right or wrong, good or bad and all that judgmental things you know, half the life will go on so this is uh, I feel from my side uh, with the degrees of uh, layers of differences the women's life is same it's not much different. people say that you are a doctorate and you are in the academics you are different <laughs> Now, uh, who are your, all your friends? For example, now you said Dalit males are uh, <laughs> like this. And uh, in that case, who are... Uh, I mean... Uh, I, I want to also ask this. Upper caste women, non-Dalit women, let me not say. Mm -hmm. Non-Dalit women, how do you... How do they also see Dalit women? They see Dalit women. Mm. Yeah, As a student, as a teacher. Right? And it's a really good question. Uh, I mean, sometime back, Gopinath was also, Dr. Gopinath was a Dalit uh, doctor, and, uh, also writing about it. The psyche of upper caste, they feel happy as long as you are dependent on them. They feel happy and uh, you become close as long as you ask them for suggestions, you know, is it good or bad. But once they see that you are parallelly growing, you are crossing them, then you then you see the real phase of whether upper caste women, I mean, women, I mean, they love to see Dalit women in a victim mode. Like, uh, we the uplift, we are going to uplift you, we are going to help you, we are giving you fellowship, we are giving you, you know, education. That giving, no, the charity and the giving, that is, they love to be in that position. I mean, I did enjoy, but there are a couple of uh, women and men who always supported, of course, more than Dalit men. And I feel delicate saying that I feel really uncomfortable with Dalit men. I can at least question, challenge, you know, uh, threaten upper class men or other men. And I feel I can't even say anything, you know, because it's your men. And uh, also, I really feel, uh, you know, I really feel a kind of attitude they have towards Dalit women. They really, I don't know whether they fail to understand us or we fail to look at them. But they want to put us in a frame. Put us, you are a wife or you are a, you know, you are something that you should be under my control. You can't give, uh, you can't even question that. In, in earlier days, it was in a crude form, you beat and you, you know, is, um, to fight and all. Now, in a subtle way, in a different way, they convey that, I mean, that Brahmanical, Brahmanical mode of thinking has not changed. I feel really, really, I wish at least they learn or they learn to understand the little women or they learn to give them a big support. I the basic reason for me to work in choosing this area and the rural area, though I have a chances and choices to work in urban area because lack of support systems for anywhere. Everywhere. If it is instant like race, it's absolutely your boycott. Absolutely you know, you can't approach police station, you can't, because first half, you are already, you know, you feel low, and even if somebody comes to you, in the journalist what media, what it does, where they hide, they show, and it is, uh, if it is election time, no, they have, opposition will always, you know, give money to media, and they always enjoy that, uh, if they can, uh, Sonia Gandhi is the same, they love it, not because they really want to Dalit women to be projected and their vulnerability to be taken into account. But now, now I think after Lakshmi Peta, after this Haryana thing, it, now all the Dalit communities and the movement that there is should seriously think about where we are going, which way we are uh, moving. I mean, I understand Dalit uh, DC eating, all that. But it is much more to me. It is much more to me than cartoons and BC eating because it's a life question, you know. 
until unless you you economical point of view you give good education and good uh, you know at least basic minimum needs you can't change this system i don't see people come and gang rape me or uh, anybody who is in the university because that support system increases but if you are in a remote village if you are in a working labor class house you are much more prone to the such kind of violence i mean you i mean to say that not all the upper caste upper layer is not happening this is not happening to them but it is more on that so and also i feel that sensitivity to in the police and the administration should be i think they should, they should relearn and unlearn about the government the ways how they understand and look them you know, the, the moment they see the dalit women even in the academic year anyway if they come to know you are a dalit immediately the perception changes the attitude changes the language changes and oh you are a dalit women i know your you know your levels of understanding i know your speaking talking skills i know your writing skills i mean there they hit at your uh, with uh, saying that you are inferior to them your dressing been questioned your mannerisms is been questioned and all these are untouched in the universities also i mean i don't think anybody will discuss about that